Hello everyone, I'm Sandeep, your virtual tour guide for today. Let's set off on an enchanting journey to Avignon, a city nestled in the heart of southeastern France's Provence region. Known for its rich tapestry of history and stunning architecture, Avignon is a treasure trove waiting to be discovered. Once the seat of the papacy in the 14th century, Avignon is steeped in history that is as fascinating as it is vast. The city's fortified walls stand as a testament to its past, enclosing an old town filled with Gothic architecture and cobblestone streets. From the renowned Palais des Papes to the legendary Pont d'Avignon, every corner of this city whispers tales of a bygone era. But Avignon isn't just about history, it's a feast for the senses, offering delectable food, fine wine and vibrant markets. It's a city that invites you to lose yourself in its charm and beauty. So, are you ready to explore the charm of Avignon with me? Our first stop is the Palais des Papes, or the Papal Palace. This grand structure, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, boasts a history as rich and complex as the tapestries that once adorned its walls. Constructed in the 14th century, the palace served as the seat of Western Christianity during a time when the popes sought refuge from the political turmoil in Rome. The Papal Palace is a testament to the power and influence of the Catholic Church during the Middle Ages. Its construction took less than 20 years, a feat that's impressive even by today's standards, and it's said that at the height of its glory, it was the largest Gothic palace in all of Europe. The architecture of the Papal Palace is a spectacle in itself. The imposing stone fortress features turrets, towers and immense halls. Its austere and fortified exterior belies the treasures that lie within. Inside, you'll find intricately decorated chapels and grand ceremonial rooms, each telling a different chapter of Avignon's past. The palace is also home to some interesting anecdotes. Did you know that it was once the scene of grand feasts and elaborate parties? It's said that during these festivities, the palace was illuminated by as many as 2,000 candles. Or how about the fact that it wasn't just popes who walked these hallowed halls? The palace also hosted illustrious guests, including kings and emperors. And let's not forget about the legendary Chambre du Cerf, or Room of the Stag, where popes reportedly indulged in hunting scenes painted on the walls. The Papal Palace is not just a monument, it's a journey through time. It's a place where you can almost hear the whispers of the past, where every stone tells a story. Truly, the Papal Palace is a magnificent symbol of Avignon's rich history. Next, we move on to the famous Pont d'Avignon. Ensconced in the heart of Avignon, the Pont d'Avignon, or the saint Benazé Bridge, is an emblematic symbol of the city's illustrious past. It's a bridge that tells a thousand tales, from its inception in the 12th century to its partial destruction and its eventual immortalization in popular culture. Originally spanning the Rhône between villeneuve les avignon and Avignon, this architectural marvel was both a feat of engineering and a testament to the city's strategic importance. With 22 stone arches, it was one of the few bridges across the river and served as a crucial passage for pilgrims, traders and the military. The legend of the young shepherd boy Benazé adds a touch of the mystical to the bridge's history. It's said that Benazé was compelled by divine visions to build this bridge. He convinced the skeptical townsfolk of his divine mission when he miraculously lifted a massive stone block. To this day, the chapel of Saint Nicholas perched on the bridge commemorates the shepherd boy and his heavenly mandate. While the relentless force of the Rhone and multiple wars have left only four arches standing today, the bridge's spirit remains unbroken. The remnants of the Pont d'Avignon echo the resilience of the city and its people. It's more than just a bridge, it's a symbol of Avignon's enduring spirit. The bridge also holds a special place in the hearts of the French, thanks to the popular nursery rhyme Sur le Pont d'Avignon. The song, which speaks of dancing round and round, paints a joyful image of life on the bridge, further cementing its place in French cultural history. As we walk along the remaining arches, we can't help but marvel at the blend of history, legend and culture that the Pont d'Avignon encapsulates. It stands as a silent storyteller, whispering tales of Avignon's glorious past to those willing to listen. Despite being partially destroyed, the Pont d'Avignon still stands as a testament to the city's glorious past. Now. Let's head on to the Musée du Petit Palais, 
This museum, nestled in the heart of Avignon, is a testament to the rich history and artistic prowess of the region. Housed in a stunning 14th century building, the Musée du Petit Palais is a marvel in itself. Its architecture is a blend of late Gothic and early Renaissance styles reflecting the period in which it was built. But it's what's inside that truly sets the museum apart. The museum is home to an extensive collection of medieval and Renaissance art with a particular emphasis on Italian and Provencal works. With over 500 pieces, it is one of the most comprehensive collections of this period in France. Each piece tells a unique story, shedding light on the socio-cultural dynamics of the time. Among the must-see exhibits is the collection of Italian primitive paintings. These works, characterized by their simplicity and emotional intensity, offer a glimpse into the artistic traditions of the late Middle Ages. From the serene faces of Madonna and Child to the vibrant scenes of biblical stories, these paintings are sure to leave you mesmerized. Another highlight is the collection of Romanesque sculptures. These sculptures, hailing from the 12th to the 15th centuries, are a testament to the artistic evolution during this period. The attention to detail, the intricate carvings and the expressive faces of these sculptures are a visual treat. But the museum is not just about art. It also provides valuable insights into the history of Avignon. The museum's exhibits trace the city's journey from a papal city to a center of art and culture. It's a narrative that weaves together politics, religion and art, providing a holistic understanding of Avignon's past. Perhaps what is most striking about the Musée du Petit Palais is the way it brings history to life. Each painting, each sculpture tells a story. They speak of the people who created them, the time they lived in and the world they saw. It's a journey into the past, a journey that is both enlightening and enchanting. The Musée du Petit Palais is indeed a treasure trove of art and history. It's a place where the past and the present coexist, where art and history intertwine. It's a museum that tells the story of Avignon, and in doing so, it tells a story of us. No tour of Avignon would be complete without a taste of its food and wine. Yes, indeed. This vibrant city not only boasts of its rich history and stunning architecture, but also of its incredible culinary scene. Now, let's talk about food. The local cuisine of Avignon is a delightful blend of Provencal flavors and traditional French gastronomy. Start your day with a freshly baked croissant from a local boulangerie, followed by a hearty bouillabaisse for lunch, a traditional fish stew that is as vibrant as the city itself. And for supper, try the daube Provençal, a slow-cooked beef stew marinated in red wine and herbs de Provence. This is not just food, it's an experience, a journey of flavors that tells the story of this beautiful part of France. Moving on to desserts, Avignon has a sweet tooth. The city is known for its calissons, small diamond-shaped candies made from ground almonds, candied melon and orange peel. They're a little piece of sweet heaven that melts in your mouth. And let's not forget the tarte tatin, a caramelized apple tart that is the epitome of French dessert decadence. Now, what's food without wine? The wines of Avignon and the surrounding Rhone Valley are famous worldwide. Here, you'll find a variety of reds, whites and roses that cater to every palate. The Côtes du Rhône and Chateau Neuf du Pape are particularly renowned. These wines, filled with the warmth of the Mediterranean sun, are the perfect accompaniment to the local cuisine. And where to enjoy these delights? Avignon is dotted with charming bistros, cozy wine bars, and Michelin starred restaurants, each providing a unique dining experience. Whether you're dining al fresco in a bustling square or tucked away in a quiet side street, you're in for a treat. So when in Avignon, don't forget to indulge in its gastronomical delights. From the aroma of fresh bread wafting from the boulangeries, to the clink of wine glasses in the evening, the city is a feast for the senses. It's not just about seeing the sights, it's about tasting, smelling and savoring the essence of Avignon. It's about creating memories that will linger long after the trip is over. Well, that brings us to the end of our virtual tour of Avignon. We've journeyed through the heart of this historic city, starting with the majestic Papal Palace, a symbol of Avignon's past as the seat of Western Christianity. We then moved on to the Pont d'Avignon, an iconic structure that stands as a testament to the city's medieval engineering prowess. Our tour wouldn't have been complete without a visit to the Musée du Petit Palais, 
a treasure trove of Renaissance art that's a feast for the eyes. And of course, we immersed ourselves in the flavors of Avignon, savoring its local cuisine and wine, a true culinary delight. Avignon, with its rich history, stunning architecture and delicious cuisine, truly has something for everyone. Thank you for joining me, Sandip, on this tour. Until next time, safe travels.